Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video. Today, continuing on with my side quest of playing um, Grixis Delver with the Orcish Bowmaster. So, um, I... Yeah, I, I've been playing some Blue Red Delver and some Death Shadow sort of on and off during the, the last year, but not very often, and I, I really want to get a crack at the whip um, with... Uh, with trying to, to to sort of enhance my 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 play, which I think there's a lot of room to grow. So and Orcish Bowmasters at the time of recording has been out I don't know like three or four weeks I think maybe a month. Um, and I initially played four, and that was fine sometimes. But you do actually I think end up in a lot of matchups where the Bowmaster is kind of not very good. Or, or just like medium at best, where, um, like even versus a, a deck like Elves, where I thought it would be amazing, um, it has been only so-so. And um, I, I don't know. There's there's a lot of El Elvish Reclaimer decks, a lot of uh, Merit Lage decks where it doesn't do a lot. So I think playing three is fine. Um, I could see a world where it becomes like a bit more of a, a role player, and it's it's a two of, but I do think it has enough legs to, to, probably be a permanent inclusion in in a tempo deck because it is like the, it has such a high ceiling, um, and against uh, all the brainstorm decks, basically it's it has very high relevancy, and against some of them, it's like really really good. So yeah. Um, I think the the decks I've struggled with the most um, have been the uh, the sort of Ab Abzan or Naya style depths lists, and then initiative. So I think like having access to snuff out in the main deck is pretty good. Um, and yeah, I mean you're you're, you're running the mill Grix sideboard. I also like Stoneforge Mystic has been a, a bit of a problem card for me to beat. Um, you know, you if you're playing against like, uh, there's been a lot of death and taxes recently. If you're playing against something like that. You know, you maybe you have one removal and one counter spell in your opener, and they play a vial, and you counter that, and they play a mother of runes. You have to remove that, and then they play Stoneforge, and it's like, well, I mean, that's it. Uh, if I don't draw one of my two Thoughtseize is like right now, or one of my removal spells like right now, then I'm facing off against Cauldra, and then my only out is is Brazing Borrower, or I guess be erasing it, but that that's not that easy. So I added Opposition Agent, which is a little bit clunky, like a three mana spell is a little bit clunky in this in this deck, but um, and also at times will probably be too late, but it has. Relevancy versus a number of decks, also all the Ursa Saga decks. So I kind of like having this as one of one of to like get you. And then I added the call of uh, sorry the cast into the fire, one of the new Lord of the Rings cards that I've seen other people play as well, because this can exile the one ring which is indestructible, and it can also exile Cauldra. So that's pretty nice. Um, and you know if if your opponent has like uh, their own Orcish Bowmaster, you can like ping it and the the, the creature it brought with it so all right uh just one more thing to say which is that i am uh, someone someone was very kind to comment and say that the my volume was maybe a bit too on the low the low side in these videos so i'm trying to um uh reconfigure my headset and like up the uh, the input volume and stuff like that so if, if you have any comments like that please leave them i would love to know if there's anything i can do to to improve on the long term, I probably will be looking into getting a better microphone. Right now, I'm using one on like a Logitech uh, gamer headset, which is, which was a step up from my I iPhone headset that I w used like a few years ago. So, hopefully, um, the quality is is acceptable. But but I am hoping to at, at some point, you know, make improvements there. But anyways, let's go jump into the league. All right, on the draw in round one, I will keep this hand. It's a little bit. Like if we're up against one of the decks, which it looks like we are, the the uh, the windswept heath decks, the uh, elvish reclaimer decks, then these two bowmasters probably aren't gonna be that great. Okay, Korean ranger. Hopefully they don't make uh, what's his face, uh, the wirewood symbiote next turn, and we get to kill the ranger. Uh, 
I think we want the Chandler, and I think Wasteland might be a fine addition to our hand. Maybe like it can it can pick off a Dried Arbor at some point once we get rid of the Ranger, or uh, if they float a Gaia's Cradle before running too too crazy, then then that's good. Okay, so the double forest. Immediately feeling worse about my my wasteland keep. Also, I'm a little bit worried that this isn't elves. Okay, no, it probably is. Oh, would have been nice to have been on the play here. Uh, the Orcish Bowmaster would have been great. Okay, uh, I should have played the Scalding Tarn. I'm just signposting the Bowmaster. I think it's on everyone's radar, and two open blue, and potentially black mana is gonna signal. Okay, now this is interesting. They didn't see that, see the Bowmaster coming, I guess. Oh my god, this is like the dream, I think. Let's see. Okay, well. I mean, I am gonna do this now. Wow, Bowmaster machine gun. <laughs> they concede, wow. Okay, well, I mean, forget what I said about Bowmaster not being that impressive against elves. Um, geez. All right, well, uh, we want the Plague Engineer, the Oppo Agent. Um, anything else? The Submerge? Uh, him to Turok, probably not, but maybe. Depends on how much I feel like should come out. And cast into the fire seems good. Uh, get a get a little tasty two for one. Okay, so bring in those four. I think I'm okay removing the thought seizes and maybe like I think brazen borrower. Although borrower borrower is like our answer to something like choke. But I think maybe we just need to be able to. Like it's a we, the borrower is a one off. I don't, I don't know. Actually, maybe keep borrower and maybe lose some of the counter spells because, like, a we're on the draw, so days is is worse. But also, Alsor Shepherd just so often just invalidates half of your hand if you're sitting on like two counter spells or something. Yeah, let's try this. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'll keep this. I'll keep this for sure. Would have been amazing on the play because then we could like do DRC first, which we might still do, but it might be necessary to like to just uh, bolt whatever they they play here. Okay, so green sounds for zero. I don't know if I also like. What's the worst case scenario here? It's like they make uh, query and ranger. And then, no, Korean Ranger shouldn't be that scary, right? Because it, all in quotation mark, uh, it does is it, it, uh, no, it can't, it, it can't, well, it untaps the Dried Arbor, <laughs> Dried Arbor, basically, and if they miss their land drop, they can replay the Bayou, so, obviously, it's good. I think I am going to play the DRC here, get it in, and plan for the, for the sort of game that lasts for more than uh, another turn. I mean, yeah, okay. I'll 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 keep this, and um, I will see what they're drawing. It's a green sun zenith. Uh, okay. And I, even though we're sort of not getting value off of the scry here, I do want to like draw another card in case I, I draw into a, um, in case there's like a force of will beneath the, beneath the, um, the underground scene. I am bobbling again here because I want to draw it on their turn. I, another play would have been to wait, um, for their draw step or like their upkeep, uh, no, their draw steps to see what their next card is. But okay. We didn't draw force. It's probably all good. I think we just, if we can survive this turn, Okay, Thoughtseize. They probably take Bowmaster here, but we still we're left with like two two bolts. Which is fine. 
Yeah, take the Bowmaster. On the plus side, that leaves us closer to Delirium with the, the, the Dragon Tree Shandler. <coughs> Excuse me. There is the Grin Ranger we talked about. And another Dried Arbor has their land drop. That's sort of anemic. Oh, I should have bolted in the uh, in the upkeep. Okay, I'm going to kill the Ranger. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Ranger. Uh, yeah, I'll, pro I'll put Days in the, in the graveyard. I know they're sort of choked a bit on uh, effective mana, but they'll have more mana next turn. Uh, do I tr offer the trade here? I don't. I don't think that I do. Even though we have another one, we're sort of a little bit bottlenecked on on the mana in the deck right now. So, so hope they don't have Cabal Ritual. Uh, so like, uh, sorry, Cabal Therapy. It's just natural order. Okay, no. So they know about one more bolt here, so whatever they're getting... Oh, it's just to, to draw a card, that's fine. Another Queer and Ranger. Okay, well, they are, like, uh, accruing mass here. I'd love... Uh, uh, once again, I forget to, to bolt. I think, yeah, I think you need to be more uh, sort of aggressive. I am going to... I know I'm going to use a bolt this turn anyway, so I could have scryed and put the, the thing into the graveyard. Um, let's kill the ranger. I still think that's probably what's most threatening to us. <clears throat> I mean, this is obviously one of the bombs here, but we're not casting it this turn. We're not casting it next turn. I think I need to throw this away, and I'm. it's, it's kind of infuriating that we're missing a land for delirium here. This is actually... I feel like this, from a felt like an extremely winnable position is sort of unraveling here. Um, do I keep this on top and hope? And then, so I, I could keep this on top, draw it, then make Merc Tide next turn. Hope to be alive to cast the Engineer on the following turn, but I would need to, to top deck a land. No, I think I am going to graveyard this. As nuts as that feels like. And we're just like dead in the water here if they if they draw a natural order. Wow. All right, no guys cradle. That's something I suppose. But they do have access to five mana right now. Grist. Okay. So they probably kill. Uh, no. Okay, they don't. Okay, so they serve in with the guy. I think I'm going to bolt, I am going to remember to bolt down the upkeep, I'm going to bolt Grist and hope to flip a land or a pond, uh, or a sorcery and then kill uh, kill the Grist. Because I don't think we want to be playing against Grist, truth be told. There's a land into the graveyard. Wouldn't have mind uh, like drawing a land, but um, I also really want to kill Grist. Okay. And now we're sort of insulated against uh, against the natural order because we drew the force. And next turn we can choose to play another DRC or a Merc Tide. Another Quarian Ranger. I mean, as long as they don't have an Alsor Shepherd, then this Force of Will is just holding down the fort here. We're taking four a turn, but ne from next turn on, or two turns from now, they'll be taking a lot more. Okay, days not super duper so we can remove the three bolts and uh, there's no way to yeah the three bolts and one of the creatures and one of the baubles and we still have delirium um yes yeah, so we can do that so i, I think that is going to be my play here just get a big dumb merc tide regent in it's going to be a six six we could make it a 7-7, seven, seven, but then we lose Delirium, so I don't want to do that. Look at that graveyard. Four cards, four different types. Mwah, chef's kiss. Okay, so there's the Shepherd. That's big OO. 
If their last card in hand is natural order, we just lose. Oh, it's Cradle. We don't... L oh, they can activate now. Yeah, okay. So they can make their... They can swing for... Is that even good? So they attack for 10 here. But an I block. Uh, oh, you know what I could have done? I could have forced the the shepherd, or dazed it, I suppose, to get another thing into the graveyard and then delve out. No, but I don't think I can... Uh, delving out it takes away delirium. Okay, anyways. Um, okay, which one is better to block here? I'll block this one. So I take seven, and I'll be at eight. So a removal spell here would be great. That's not a removal spell. Mm. So if we can just quote unquote block two things next turn, we'll be fine. Which we can. So uh, let's attack here. So we get deal them nine, they go to three. And we, they don't get trample, right? From the guy. No. So let's play one blocker here and let's play another blocker here. Both uh, DRCs lose delirium, but we grow our, uh, our friend by one. We block the two elves and then we take three from the insect and the two arbors. So just don't draw a removal spell or... Yeah, okay, sweet. We got there. All right, cool. I got a bit dicey, and I definitely made some misplays. I should have been more uh, on top of, like, bolting in my upkeep to get the surveil. Um, but off to a winning start. Great. Uh, back with round number two. Right. Round number two on the draw once more. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. It's kind of your uh, little bit of everything hand. Um, have the force to protect ourselves from too much craziness on turn one here, which it looks like we might need to, because this is one of those, looks like one of those mono black uh, shenanigan decks. Yeah, I think I'll just, I'll save my force of will here and I, I'll bolt this guy. Question is if I, do I play um, DRC first? I think I do. Or do I like, this means any discard spell is like a pretty big problem. Now nah, I'll play the DRC. And hope that we can sort of take it from here. Like if they have discard into Shouldred or some, some crazy stuff, then we wouldn't have been able to to beat that regardless. And, okay, they missed their land drop. Ah, uh, no, again, again, once more. I forget to bolt on my upkeep. Sheesh. Actually, let's not compound the, the mistake here. Let's uh, let's play out a DRC. I don't really want to put stuff into the void here, but um, at least I get the, the chance, right? Yeah, I'll keep that on top. I, I need black mana to get this thought seize on. All right. <clears throat> I'm kind of excited by them missing their land drop. If they have another void uh, walker, I'll force it. Okay. So let's uh, let's giddy up here. Get the double surveil. Um. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I want to get some velocity here. Yeah, I'll put that into the yard as well. Okay. So Karn is the scariest card. Ilkhan Gains is lights out if they have a void effect, but they don't at the moment. So you know what? I'm going to take the Karn here. And I'm going to play the Delver. 
And then they can two for one themselves, taking my force of will next turn. Or I suppose if they draw land, no, it's still two for one in a way because they need to imprint something on the Chrome Mox. Oh, wow. Okay, come on, Delver, flip. Flippity flip, flippity flip, flop. No! Scalding Tarn. My nemesis. Okay. Well, at least we'll get, get a scry next turn on the Delver flip. But, like, imagine if that had flipped off of uh, an instant and we could have cast it and in in feel good town. Wow, they are just fresh out of luck over there. Yeah, okay. They decide to play out their chrome mox. I was gonna say, like, eventually you're gonna have to you you should probably play it out. And there's a grief. Okay. So now they're representing uh what's this his face opposition agent? Maybe the fetch land kind of drew that out if, if they if they have one. Thoughtsies, yes please. I will draw that. I will play this. I will fetch in response to oppo agent if you have it. Hopefully I'll find an instant here. Oh, Bowmaster, yikes. Okay, so you, Bowmaster gets to kill one of our dudes. Um, yeah, I mean, we can't stop that. Okay. Uh, into the yard. Come on, instant, please. Uh, no, I'll I'll leave that on top. Okay, another Karn, which they can almost cast. So let's take that now that I don't have force of will up. Wow, how how is this possible? Turn five, seven spells in the graveyard, and I don't have delirium because there's no instant. Feels feels bad, dude. <clears throat> and they will. Um, I I won't be getting any instant since the graveyard next turn unless they. Oh, if they grief me, ah, oh, that would be so good. Please grief me. Yes. No. I mean, they they can ill-gotten gains now, but that just means they bin their grief and then they get two Karns and a Dothy back, which honestly wouldn't be bad. But then I would get a lot of stuff back. So, maybe not. Please grief. Yes! Alright. So, we have a Bowmaster coming here. Let's, uh... Let's attack... Their hand is ill-gotten gains. So they are dead on board. We get to Bowmaster their Bowmaster if we want to. Let's see what they do here. If they ill-gotten gains, I have to make sure I don't accidentally remove Delirium. It's five mana. Academe, what does this do? Return from the graveyard to the battlefield any, any number of target creatures that each have a different mana value, X or less. So they get to return the Dothy Void Walker. What do I have with a void counter on it? I have a bolt. I mean, this doesn't do anything, right? But they're still dead on board. Okay, well, I can't stop this, so let's see. Okay. Now what? Am I missing something here? Okay, no, never mind. They concede. All right, so this is not a pleasant matchup. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this deals two one damage to each of up to two creatures. So it can't deal two damage to one creature. So it can't kill a, uh, a Dothy. I think we can safely board out the snuff outs. Problem is, I don't really th think I have a lot of stuff to bring in. I don't know if Court of Cunning could have text. Him to Torak is probably fine. Opposition agent. They don't seem to be like a, a, a deck with fetch lands. They could potentially be a saga deck. 
Um, the blasts don't come in. Plague Engineer on Orc is something I'd be interested in, I think. So let's see. What is... Like, they are probably a Leyline deck, so I don't hate shaving a Murktide. Um, Orcish Bowmaster probably only answers other or their Orcish Bowmasters, but that might be reason enough to leave him in. Uh, I think we can cut a couple of baubles, or at least one bobble. But Delirium is at times an issue here. Yeah, maybe the court is not good enough. Yeah, maybe maintaining the monarchy is, is going to be too tough. Yeah, I'll, I'll try this. I'll try this on for size. I'm not sure. Like, maybe if they are a saga deck, I definitely want Wasteland, and they do. They are also like a uh, uh, like a, an ancient tomb deck and stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to keep this hand, but I don't like the double days and the no immediate threat here, but I do like having seven cards with a land and it plays magic, so maybe like not having force of will is a little bit too too much of a thing. Okay. So they found their ley line and have five cards. So we need to brainstorm away this Murktide at some point. Okay. They just put in uh the land tapped. Okay. Let's uh let's ponder here. Go looking for a force. No force. Um Flipped Delver, <coughs> not flipped Delver, but Delver that is going to flip, I think, is fine. So let's uh, put Delver there and hope these dazes hold up. Three mana. Bowmaster, okay. That's uh, that's a problem. That's a big problem with my double brainstorm hand. It is like a slower clock than um than flip delver, so let's um and we're gonna flip Oh no no I clicked the wrong card Oh, oh should I just shame concede? I was gonna play Delver. Uh well That's one way to to lose a game. Let's uh and, oh and and no oh uh, I can't even I can't even I'm brainstorm locked for another turn. Yeah, okay, never mind. I am going to... Shame concede. Shame concede. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, that was not good. Okay, do we think anything different needs to come in here? Uh, wow, I'm still not sure I can recover from that, that devastating blow, but I'm going to try. I think I'm just going to resubmit. Maybe actually is Meltdown a card we want here? This could also be like a the one ring uh deck. Okay, I'm gonna keep and so they start with Leyline. So I'm gonna start with Underground Sea Delver and hope to spike uh hope to spike another land that can act like turn on him to Torak. You know, and, and if not that then I hope to hit a uh a spell that flips Delver and then have um what is this uh is this Chalice? Okay. Wow, this deck is just mean all over, isn't it? Okay, do we flip? We do flip, but it's a card we can't cast. So let's uh play Delver and then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna f flash in Bowmasters and then Wasteland next turn. It was between that or wastelanding the tomb now, but yeah, I I honestly don't know what is more correct. Okay, there's a swamp. So problem is here, they have Bowmaster. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait and see if I if I draw another land. I don't. Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna. I actually am gonna bank on them having the bowmaster here, and I'm gonna not flash in mine in first because that, that's the losing play. Well, in that case, I think I'm gonna wasteland since they didn't. I, they pass priority here. Oh wow, what a boss! You just don't care. 
Oh, it's oppo agent. That's why. So they were waiting to get me. Okay. So now our our fetch lands are off. But uh. But if we draw a non fetch land, then Bowmaster is on. I have two lands here. Oh, two mana. That's a shame. Yeah, this is a race, and I do worry that they're going to win, because it's a race between me dealing damage and them drawing more mana, or putting more mana into play and then deploying their hand. And I'm just drawing one mana spells that are locked under the chalice still, so that's tough. If I were to draw, like, Underground Sea or Badlands here, I'm not even sure I would... that I would, uh... Okay, Bowman, sure. That I would cast him, I think I just need to put Bowmaster in to put damage on them, but okay. Well, joke's on you, because I can't even cast my cantrips even accidentally, because of your chalice. Okay, so they're dealing 5 to my 3, but we are still winning the race. They uh, take me to 10, I take them to 4, they take me to 5. I'm not winning the race. I am not winning the race. That's a shame. I am if they take three here. Okay, they don't. Come on, really need a land. Any land. That's not a fetch land. Okay, great. So we have Bowmaster here. So I'm, I think I'm going to hold off till the very last point to make them maybe tab out for something like uh, a Karn or something. <coughs> Anything that lets me keep my Delver and attack with it. So I'm not going to flash this in now. Oh, what's this? Plague Engineer. Fuck. No. No, I think we, we still win. If they don't have removal. If he names Human or Insect or whatever, then I deal two with him. No, I still lose. No, I deal two with him. Uh, I flash in Bowmaster end of turn, deal one. He he's at one, and then the the two the Bowmaster and the and the army, one of them gets through. Okay. So I think unless he has removal here, human. Okay. Well, it's gonna be close. Let's uh, but let's wait and see. Okay, deal you one. Amass an army. Worthy of Mordor. And f Ooh, another Bowmaster. That should sew it up. Excellent. So if they have removal from one of the orcs... Um, okay. And put you to dead. Sweet! Wow, that was close. That felt super tight. Alright, on to round number three. On the play for the first time this league here in round number three. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to fetch. I think I'm going to go Bloodstain Mire, fetch Underground, Sea Cast, Ponder. I'll put in Mulligans to six. But yeah, I'm going to do that to throw the send off uh, as, as best I can that, that I'm a combo deck. And that might, like, cold cut them on the Wasteland next turn, for instance. Um,. But I, maybe by you know at this point the the cat is sort of out of the bag. Uh, well, this is a threat, but we don't want these other two lands, and I think we can do better. Also, and I of course get a wasteland, even though I just shuffled one away. And our opponent Mulligan to five, so I am kind of concerned that this is like some glass cannon combo deck. Okay, I'm pretty happy about. Well, I had a wasteland, but happy about the second one. Uh, so let's kill Saga pass and hopefully that can sort of unravel their hand or their mana confluence aether vial what the what is this what kind of new devilry is this well that would have been a nice days to have last turn aether vial is a concerning card and all these lands are quite concerning as well so flooding out here. Yeah, I mean, I could 
very well lose to this vial once it sort of becomes operational, but I'm still unsure what I'm playing against. Slivers probably, but slivers with Saga? That's so interesting. Well, they stumbled on the land, so I probably will end up wastelanding here, but I don't know, I also want to brainstorm. Jeez, not feeling the love here from the deck. Okay. So, Aethervon means creatures, so the bolts are probably good. Snuff out probably also, but it's a little bit less obvious because our life total could very well end up being under pressure. So, let's put away the Brainstorm and the Daze, even though like uh, having days is so good versus there are no lands, but they have the Vile. So probably what is mostly going to happen is creature is going to come through the vial. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's play this guy or gal, and let's ship the turn. I want to keep open bolt to kill whatever is coming through the vial right now. Moth dust changeling. So I don't know, like, this is, what, is this ninjas or something? I think I'm just going to, do I bolt or snuff out this? I'm going to bolt. <clears throat> when in doubt, cast lightning bolt. And put this into the yard. They are putting up quite the fight from a mold of four. About uh, five, I mean. There's another Saga. Glad I have the second Wasteland now. Not going to bolt uh, to, to Surveil because we need a uh, bolt to, to cast this removal, I think. Bowman. Of course, everyone is playing Bowmaster. Okay, well, Bowmaster resolves, then gets bolted. And if we can flip a creature or a... Or uh, uh, a bobble, then uh, DRC gets to resolve. They have a second bowman. Okay. Honestly, this probably is just good enough to to kill us. I th don't think I want the brainstorm. Well, I think uh, like a Murktide Regent is what we want now. Murktide Regent. Uh, and these are not Murktide Regent. Um, okay, so they amass an army. And we kill the, uh, the Saga. Now I re obviously regret using a Bolt Nut Snuff Out on that Moth Dust Changeling. Wow, I have no idea what I'm up against here. Just a five color... Okay. Springleaf drum? What the heck? Murktide. No, I'd much rather have a daze, thank you. Do you have more coming through the vial? Yep, you do. Ah! Magda. Dwarves? Sack five dwarves? Okay, so the, it's a dwarf, Zack? I vaguely seem to remember something about this. Hearing about, like... Is it like a combo deck with Grist or something? Okay, so you have a treasure. And once you have five treasures, search your library of an artifact or dragon card, probably the one ring. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna... I should have... Oh, I should have done that before. So they get their treasure. Um, they have some way to save this. So the way we, we win this game is, I think, by drawing uh, runner, runner, uh, Merc Tides, or alternatively, like, Orcish Bowmaster is a card I'm interested in drawing. That at least unlocks my cantrips. Wow. There's a Merc Tide. So let's hope they can't uh, answer this. I have no idea what they have in their hand, but it would stand to reason that they play some kind of removal in this deck. Yep. Okay. 
They have another card. Once upon a time. Yeah, I could have dazed. They can pay with the token. Maybe I should have done that. Universal Automaton. Okay. So this is just another dwarf. All right. Another Merktide, please. Please and thank you. Bobble. Do I bobble here and amass the, the like, take two more, potentially many more damage? I think probably I do. <coughs> Whenever you are the, the counter that spell, okay. So, their vial, I think, just lives on two. There's a bolt. So, I mean, at least we have bolt. And I think I'm going to use it before they draw their mariner. It doesn't really matter. I'll just need to pay more mana. But, um, no need. Okay. Play your unsettled mariner. So they still have one unknown card that they've been sitting on for a while, which is, could well be another removal spell. Come on, days. Why days? Well, we're on a three-turn clock, which can quickly become a two-turn clock. Yep, now it's a two-turn two clock with that Mutavolt. Bow Masters is not good enough. It's not good enough. I mean, we can survive one more turn and go to one life, but uh, yeah, screw that. Uh, I don't know how at all to approach this. Um, exiling artifacts, killing artifacts seem decent. Uh, plague engineer, is that a thing? On Orc or on Changeling? Uh, I mean, they do have a lot of non-black creatures, so the snuff out is not completely unreasonable. Let's cut a bobble. Cut the thought seizes, I think. And maybe cut... Cut a days. Is there anything else obvious that would be like worth having here? I mean, they're nurses saga deck, so maybe, maybe the oppo agent. But I think that's all that searches. So maybe not. I'd like to have him to Torak, especially on the play here, but I'm not sure. Instead of what, uh, maybe we add. Maybe we actually we want him to Torak over the snuff outs. That might s seem crazy, but I, I'm not sure we can really afford to be taking four life to, to, to kill creatures, and seeing as it doesn't kill the orc. Um, yeah, okay. This seems like a decent hand. We can force of will their... Uh, we can force their... Uh, their Aether Vial. They mulligan to six. Okay. So the question is, do we get Badlands here to have... Bowmasters next turn? I don't think so. I think we we get Volcanic. And I will snap off a Force of Will on, a, on an Aether Vial here. Retrofitter Foundry is a potential problem too, but I think I'll let it resolve. We have Meltdown. Then we can uh, work towards... Um... Let's uh, hold off on the bowman. Uh, let's put brainstorm into the graveyard. Yeah, I don't hate Delver of Secrets here. I think I'm going to save the Wasteland for an Ursa Saga, at least for now. Okay, so we can't kill the bowman, or counter the bowmaster, but we can kill it. So we'll get to kill one of ours. I suppose you kill the DRC here. That would be my guess. Yeah. 
All right, let's hope Delver flips. That would be nice. He does not flip. Um, so do I wasteland or do I just float the wasteland? I think I float the wasteland. Kill the bowman and cast ponder. Oh, that's actually really awkward. Oh, okay, they concede. Wow, weird. They're that's really weird. Okay, I I feel like I got away with one there. They oh they just they they leave the the whole game. I win the match. Wow, they were up a game. What the hell? Okay, you know stuff like that happens. Maybe they um they like uh uh they lost uh. Uh, track of time or something and they had to go do something in real life who knows hope they're okay all right on to round number four round number four on the draw i think i'm going to keep this it's a little bit uh yeah uh, i don't know but it has force will has spells would have loved if one of these lands were like a uh a threat but the opponent mulligans to six kept six another ursus saga deck right Oh, it's that. It's this deck. Sure. The Mystic Forge. Oh, the One Ring deck. Uh, yep, there's Delver. So I think I'm going to... I'm going to play Delver. And... <clears throat> and then we'll, I'm going to go looking for a Wasteland next turn. Alternatively, I should have Wasteland... Oh, sort of gone for the Wasteland now, but... Anyways, so we are going to be faced with at least one giant construct token. We don't flip Delver, draw another land. So this is it. Let's uh, have a look. That, that's not a wasteland. It's not a wasteland. It's a... Uh, I mean, tell you what. This kills one of them. We're not like I could shuffle and hope for a wasteland, but that doesn't seem like a winning strategy. If we don't get wasteland, maybe the 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 removal spell for the for the first construct is is worth it. Uh, we can shuffle these lands away, um, and we can cast ponder. It's obviously risky if we don't hit a blue card, but I do think I like that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so they make their token. Sure. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I mean, that's kind of bad. Not gonna lie. We could, like, Murktide Regent is one way we potentially can beat a giant construct. But Murktide Regent is the card we need that to be blue. Oh jeez. And these these bowmasters are likely not very good, but maybe. Okay. Tell you what. I'm not gonna shuffle and then not half force. So let's uh let's go like this. And I'm gonna hold off with the snuff out until the last moment to have them make plays assuming that they have a construct that might give us a small edge. Here comes second construct. Let's see if they just get Shadow Spear here. We can at least make them maybe lose a, a Lotus Petal, who knows, to uh, to, to equip. Oh, I've not seen this before. Sacrifice it for a mana, exile top two cards from your library, choose one of them until I'm turning. You may play that card, and then you can unearth it. Well, that's cool. So sort of like a recurring card advantage. <clears throat> so I'll take four instead of six, and... No, we know we're not going to flip. So the question is, is making a 6-6 six, six, uh, Murktide taking down, taking um, away f force good enough? It probably is not. I think we're going to struggle to win here, but, but let's see. 
And I think this Orkish Bowmaster, like the, 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 the army is just going to be on chump blocking duty. Okay. Do we get to see the exiled cards? Yeah, okay. Basalt Monolith and Manifold Key. Oh, wait, do you choose one of them? Choose one of them. Okay, so it's not a card advantage per se. I mean, it can end up being that. Defense Grid. Shit. <laughs> um... I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna flash in our, our guy here, and then maybe it, it becomes a race. You need red mana to unearth it? Okay. Sure. So now you, you get five mana. Do you have Karn, maybe? Mystic Forge. Right. Yep, that's sort of the namesake of the, of the deck. So they exile an ancient tomb. Do they find something they can play this turn? No. Okay. So we take six here, I would assume. No, we don't. That's really interesting. I'm not going to take the second Bowmaster. I am going to fetch here and hope for... <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Magic Online, are you kidding me? Uh, okay. So, I mean, I think we're just going to... Make the 6-6. Six, six. Play another Bowman. And hope that somehow we we don't we aren't dead. It's a lot of mana. There is Karn. So they could get like uh ensnaring bridge or something here. They can't very easily like do LED echo stuff. Yeah, there is ensnaring bridge, sure. Uh, Wasteland, okay. I mean, sure. Oh, I did I reveal that? I think I revealed it. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Um, let's kill that. And I could put one on Karn here. I think I do. All right, so I'm going to put one on... I'm going to put both of these on... Karn, at least. I mean, I, I don't value these Bowmasters very much, and I'm, I'm probably going to lose this game either way, but at least this will slow Karn down. Um, I suppose, no, I should have attacked with Delver as well. He could have been at one. But I think, like, just this means you, if he minus two, um, he loses Karn. All right. So I I'm really debating right now whether or not to uh that I should that I should even play this out. I don't know that we can if that we can beat this Karn. We could um and they plus the Karn sure. We could draw our uh our uh petty theft here. And but that would only be good for one one attack. Uh still no flip on the Delver. Actually, I am just going to, I'm going to concede here. Get on with the next game. All right, so we do have some good tools in this matchup. We got the meltdowns and the call, oh, sorry, cast into the fire. I think uh, opposition agent maybe. Court of Cunning as just like an alternative win con for something like, uh, like ensnaring bridge. How about him to Torak? That's not terrible, but they, uh, on the other hand, they are kind of like empty their hand kind of deck, so maybe not. Don't think the bolts are very good. Don't know that I love Bowmaster. Don't know that I love Snuff Out. I uh, think probably something like this. Like if they have the one ring, then Bowmaster, uh, Bowmasters is is pretty neat. Yeah, I'll keep this. We we get to play the Delver tempo game with days and and a, a fast threat. We have force to stop the most egregious stuff here. We are missing kind of like cantrips though, and like wasteland. Ponder yes, just what the uh, the doctor ordered. Uh no, have to shuffle these. Need lands. Get a bowmaster anyways, because that's how magic online works. Ancient tomb. Pedal. Okay, here we go. What's what's the counter here? 
Assault Monolith. I think that's not the counter. Come on, land or cantrip. Cantrip. Yes, please. Excellent stuff. Let's put back Bowman and Delver. And let's play Dragon's Reach Chandler and try and close this game out with a lot of protection here. I'm really happy I drew that Brazen Borrower or Petty Theft. But we do also have like Double Force and Days now. So let's see if that's going to be good enough. Double Ancient Tomb is <laughs> that's pretty brutal. Uh, they're lining up for something big here. Bolt. So if we flip a creature, then uh, Dragon Trich Chandler is, is delirious. I'm going to attack first in case they have some, some kind of flash creature. I want to get past blockers. Uh, or rather, I suppose that would have to be now. Uh, yeah, let's put... Uh, actually, let's let's draw this force of will. I don't think we we can lose with triple force of will, but we'll see. Famous last words and, and that. But they uh, they can now only activate one one ancient tomb. Six mana. Paradox engine. Um. I think this is probably something that I would be interested in casting Force of Will on. Still leaving my other force on top. Mystic Forge. So what if I force this, then what's the most scary thing that can happen? They can go to one and casting Snare and Bridge, and then I can bounce it. I'm going to force. I don't think there's anything. OK, hang on. What's this? Go to one? Concede. OK. Or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Does anything change on the play versus on the draw? Hmm. <laughs> like, they do seem like such a big mana deck that I don't think... I think Days very rapidly loses um, value. So let's try these hymns. The problem is I think like him and Days are kind of good in the same spots here. They're good when they don't have a lot, a lot of mana because when they don't have a lot of mana, then um, they can't play their cards that fast and then him to Torek can, can get to work. Um, and at the same time, like uh, or similarly, if, if they don't have a lot of mana, then obviously Days has a higher chance of actually working out. But if they do have much mana, days doesn't work, and they are pretty likely to like be emptying their hand quite quickly. So yeah, I don't know. All right, um, on the draw with this hand, well, we have meltdown, which is I think reason enough to keep this, but um, not. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know. How, what is this? Uh, you gain life if you have three or more artifacts. That's pretty good. You can become a tutor later on. Uh. Oh, punished him, Volcanic Island. God damn it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle these. Uh, really happy to see a force of will. You gain one life. Okay, so they can at most gain one life uh, per turn. That's acceptable. Is this where we just pull the trigger on the meltdown, get a three for one? I th think I like that. Um, we draw him anyways, so if we can find land next turn, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to do this now. If they make a, uh, uh, like Ursa Saga next turn, that's pretty annoying, but I think that was just too tasty. And, um, okay, defense grid. I mean, I, I am going to force this uh, just because future forces and stuff. And I'm going to, we could, no, we can't. Oh, damn. I need another land here for several reasons. Okay. Well, there is land. So next turn we can him and or 
like we can hit more Court of Cunning. Uh, so we're going to draw all of these. Really wish this was a uh, red land. Let's see what they are drawing. They're drawing a Basalt Monolith, so they are going to get their mana up and running. Grim Monolith into Basalt Monolith. No? Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna him here, and I'm going to get uh, my, my Surveil in. And then next turn, probably Court of Cunning. Yeah, I'll put Delver... Yeah, I'll Del put Delver away. They lose what they lose. Basalt Monolith and Karn. Okay. Not too upset about that. That's a key, sure. Is the last card in your hand something really good? No, just more mana. Okay, so right now all they have, all they have, they have in quotation mark is, is mana. Paying two life to untap. I don't mind that at all. Wait, am I missing something? No, that's fine. Uh, not gonna bolt. Need the mana for the Court of Cunning. I would like to start drawing more cards and sort of attack them from a different angle. Um, I don't mind drawing a paw. No, I, I think I wanna, I wanna spin through here. I become the Monarch, some people call it. Okay, days, not really great in the face of a million mana over there, but it is what it is. Defense grit, sure. <laughs> a bit late to the party, I think. Paying two life for that, wow. They're just not upset about paying life here at all. Wait, what am I missing here? Oh, they get to tutor. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's that's true. That makes sense. I take it all back. What do you find here? Mystic Forge. Oh, no, because the defense grid. Oh, days would have been nice. Okay. Sure, I'm going to... Any number of targets. Yep. Just gonna target them. Uh, this member is gone. Do I bolt during the upkeep here? So bolt puts them to seven. I tack them down to four. I play Merktide Regent, and that's just lethal. Yeah, I think that's okay. We could also like draw like a wasteland, maybe no. Wasteland's not not the best. Here. Draw another bolt like that. Like that a lot. Okay, I just need to not remove um delirium here. So uh one instant, two instants. I have one more, one sorcery, two sorcery. Three sorcery, there we go. All right, draw a card. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wasteland, probably fine here. So backs to the wall here for them. Even if they remove both of our creatures, uh, because the bowman pings, uh, we, we would have the four damage, but now we only need three damage. Well, let's see, let's see how crazy they can go. Maybe they can like win on the same turn here. So they have what's on top of their deck now, and they can't. Uh, they can untap the Mystic Forge. Uh, that doesn't look like. Oh, six mana. What's this? Paradox Engine. Okay, so now they have the sort of go infinite kind of thing here. They have one life to play with. Okay, yeah, and that was not enough. All right, sweet, got there. Somehow four and oh. Let's go for round number five. So. Round number five, the trophy round. And I'm on the draw. I think I keep this. Uh, we're sort of dead to turn one uh, combo, but we're also not thrilled about turn one chalice, but not dead to it. And yeah, let's see. Let's see how we go. Ooh, an underground sea strategy. 
think I think I play Delver here, get the pressure on, and then have Days hopefully to carry me through to next turn, and then then we can start doing stuff with Wasteland and Ponder and whatnot. Okay. Water Grave. Okay, it's Death Shadow. If they have Bowman, they wouldn't wait for me to flip Delver, I, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, I think I'm going to Wasteland the Underground Sea here. Bowman it is. I'm going to Daze. They, now they can daze with their underground sea, but it, okay. Force pitch daze. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, that's okay here. They get to ping me for one. They have a two one. Uh, they have two one ones. And then in a couple of turns, I can, uh, I can bowmaster myself. I'm not going to ponder into the bowmaster. It's a little bit ugly to be on zero lands right now, uh, unfortunately. That is the way the cookie has crumbled for me. And if they can, like, Street Wraith or something into, or just Shock, shock Land into Death Shadow, it could potentially get a bit ugly here. They don't shuffle. There's the Street Wraith. Another Underground Sea and Death Shadow. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's the, the scenario I was talking about. Okay, so I go to 17. I beat them down to 8. Their shadow becomes a 5-5. Five, five. They attack me for 7 down to 10. I attack them down. Yeah, that's not a, a race I'm winning. Um, I think probably I don't attack here. For now. Maybe that's just also losing proposition, but I think definitely just attacking, giving them a 5-5. Five, five. I can at least absorb one damage here. The, another good thing about Bowmaster versus Shadow, at least, is that they, um, the 1-1, the, the, the one, one, oh gosh, that's, uh, that's a problem. Okay, so now I take 8, I take, uh, ugh, I take 11. Yep. Yep, that's uh that's going to be hard to get back from here, but let's see. So, I don't have any effective removal for their shadow. Like I have petty theft to like time walk. They have more. Gosh, I'm getting demolished here. Yeah, maybe that wasteland play is just like a losing proposition here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I could daze this and then have no lands in play facing down a 9-9 nine nine and two 1-1s. One so, let's just see what we would draw on another Bowman. Okay. Wow, brutal. Okay, so, um, don't hate some number of Pyroblasts, but they're not amazing either because Bowman and Death Shadow are both, like, non-targets. Uh... Don't think Court of Cunning is good enough here because like it's slow and they're also a creature deck. Plague Engineer on Orc seems okay, if a bit slow. Hint Torak and the Call of the Ring, maybe. Um I feel like I need to cut Force of Will here. I think I need to cut Snuff Out, even though they run some number of uh of Merktides, but we have answers for Merktide here, which just also answers like counter spells and whatever. Uh, and doesn't cost us for life, more importantly. So maybe this, maybe cut a wasteland? I'd, I I don't think like getting into wasteland war with, with a Delver opponent or like a Tempo opponent is often that beneficial like a lot of the times it, it won't be at least okay no lands have the mulligan okay well, let's keep this and let's um bottom the bobble here 
And I am going to play out the underground sea in case it somehow ends up mattering with with him. It probably it shouldn't though because I don't have another land. So maybe my initial thought was to play the volcanic to not give off the scent of of the, these black cards. Street wraith, sure. Is this thought sees okay. So what do you take here? Take the bowman. Very, very quickly, take the bowman. Uh, nope, no flippy. So I'm going to Thought Seize first, and then probably play Delver. Uh, okay, I'm going to take Reanimate. Don't want them to have bowman here for one mana. I'm going to play, uh, play the second Delver. Sucks that they get to Thoughtseize the Brainstorm here, which would have uh, guaranteed the um, the flip, but well, what can you do? There's Misty. They crack it, so not pondering first, I suppose. They just draw Bowman. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And here's, <laughs> look at what I'm sitting at. Okay. Bummer. That's still a race we're winning uh, for now, but it did, did just sort of invalidate the hand, uh, the card in hand. It's also, I'm sorry, not the race we're winning. It would have been if I had flipped the Delver here, but I did not. Okay. That was a very good draw. And they cast Ponder, sure. Do not shuffle. Second Ponder, okay. So what's like our best draws here. Unfortunately, I think our best draws are not cards Flip Delver. I guess maybe Lightning Bolt. Okay. They take two damage to shock this in. What does that mean? What does that mean? They have a Thoughtseize and a Watery Grave and two unknown cards. Is this the fish? It looks... no? No, still no Flip. Damn. Okay, well... I am going to attack here. Another ponder, sure. You're having all the fun over there. I could brainstorm. I mean, this doesn't stop you from brainstorming, but it does uh but it does just mean that they kill my delver and put damage on me and get a get a 4/4. Four four, so Okay, I think I think this is probably the death knell. Of course, still no flip. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, don't know that wastelanding gives us anything here, but I'm going to do it. Because that's sort of the play I have. Next turn, I'll take at least five. I do believe they have a water grave in hand, unless I, I just over... No, yeah, there it is. So we take they can thought seize as well, so make make shadow a seven seven. I mean, so sh they 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 drop to six here. There is a world where we draw we flip Delver revealing lightning bolt and just win, or flip Delver revealing brainstorm and then attack, take our medicine afterwards and brainstorm into bolt, but. They have... Okay, never mind. Is this lethal? No, it's not lethal. They're at two. Well, that's bold. Come on, lightning bolt. Or ponder. There's ponder. There's lightning bolt. Do you also have, like, force of will here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I will pass here, and there's no way they board in Force of Negation. There is a world where maybe they could have, like, Flusterstorm. Does it matter? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bolt in their upkeep. Flusterstorm beats us here. Oh, bummer. Okay. GG's. Trophy Dream is dead. All right. In terms of the deck, um... I think I think I I would 
probably want one or two Force of Negations in the sideboard. I feel like against that sort of Mystic Forge deck, like where they're like they have multiple must counter spells like Defense Grid and their their like Karns and stuff. Uh, and versus combo in general, I think maybe only having four Force for days is a little bit light a post board. So maybe I would look into cutting Opposition Agent and maybe cutting I don't know like the hydroblast or or the submerge I've just I've really been enjoying submerge I think there are a lot of savannah decks out there right now but yeah I think that main deck feels pretty good honestly I think I really do think orcish bowmasters is very good I'm not gonna go out and say I feel like it's busted or like feel like we should be entering a, a band discussion right now at all as you can see i'm playing three um i think that's probably i think four is probably one too many in this in this deck right now because there are a lot of decks where it doesn't really do much but i think it's just like very good like even in decks where the, the opponent isn't drawing like even like in the mystic forge deck where they're like they're like ca tapping ancient tombs the fact that it's also randomly just reach that that at at the like baseline it's like one damage to your dome in, in in your tempo deck with lightning bolt that's just that's really good it's it's just it's really very good that's that's how i would put it uh i wish i i could have afforded the uh the ones with the the normal frame i think they're much cooler than this one um yeah i i i do feel like at times i had a hard time uh, getting delirium i i realize i often board out bobbles which definitely factors in but even in some game ones with bobble i'm not sure that really means a lot or is 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 cause to con for concern i think the bigger cause is probably like delver i think we have let's count them here four eight ten uh 14 18 20 24 we have 24 instants and sorceries I think honestly that's t at least two fewer than I would prefer in in terms of like feeling like Delver is is gonna flip. That's like I think on average that's uh, less than than fifty percent uh, even after um, even after like drawing your seven cards. So uh, that's uh, I think like having twenty six twenty five twenty six twenty seven even would would be my preferred count. And that is sort of the cost of putting cards like uh, Brazen Borrower and uh, Mistress Bobble into your deck. Like these three cards could easily, like in, in the old world, have been like uh, a Chain Lightning and two Spell Pierce or something. And then then it's it's already different. But yeah, um, other than that, I think like, yeah, the deck is cool. I, I think if I had to wager a guess, I would say... This is the likelier of the of the Delver decks to emerge um, in this new world. I think Blue Red Delver is probably retired now. Would be my guess. Um, and, and or rather, it is it is demoted or it's it's dismantled and reassembled as the old Blue Red Delver, where you play like uh, Sprite Dragon and and like more burn. I think maybe that becomes a a deck again, and not I'm not sure how good that is going to be. But that's like an unexplored space that I don't think anyone has really played in a long time. And then I think this and th it's going to be between Grixis Delver and the Jeskai Delver with the uh, fourth Eolingas. Th I think that I'm seeing at least now uh, some amount of time. I've 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 also seen like a four color monster with. Both Orcish Bowmaster, uh, black for that, and white for four Theolingas. Uh, I'm not sure about that, though, but um, I think that's probably it. So, yeah, look, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe. That really helps a lot. And stay safe until next time. I'll be back with some more Legacy. Bye-bye.